I'm a pioneer to my own life. The apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. 65-year-old Ken Darling looks a little out of place walking the streets of Eugene, Oregon. And I've got a lot of help uh, by having, a, having the heritage I do. Actually, much of this town once belonged to his family. Uh, my mother was a Skinner, her father was a Skinner, his father was a Skinner, and then Eugene Franklin Skinner. Ken is the great-great-grandson of Eugene Franklin Skinner, founder of Eugene, Oregon. Little tiny kid, you know, I mean, hearing from Grandpa all the stories, you know, that he had. Ken grew up in Portland, but remembers visiting the Skinner family in Eugene as a little boy. It's, it, it's with me all the time, you know. And if you're standing in front of the library, probably every other day, you'll see me pass by the Jim Carpenter sculpture of my great-great-grandfather and positioning myself exactly the way my great-great-grandfather was. is some resemblance, you know, for whatever it's worth. Eugene Skinner settled along the river near the Butte that bears his name in 1847. How amazing, I'm sure, uh, people thought it was that, oh, the government's going to give me 640 acres, I have to stay on the land for four years, I have to be married, and I have to have a house. I walked this land. This is what 640 acres looks like from south of 8th all the way to the river, including the Butte. Grandpa, where's my piece of property? Later, Eugene Skinner donated 40 acres to help create the county seat that became the town of Eugene City. Ken recently found his way back to Eugene looking for the same thing his great-great-grandfather was looking for, a new start. Um, I got caught up in the crash, uh, financial crash, so basically my career was gone. Ken, like his great-great-grandfather Eugene, is not sure what the future might hold, but he thinks this may be the best place to start looking. You know, I know struggle as well, uh, and so it is exciting to study my family and see what kind of struggles they went through. Just shores me up to uh, uh, to do what's necessary. It makes you wonder, what would Eugene Skinner think of his little town today? I have a feeling he would probably be pretty scared. Only a few remnants of the time when Eugene Skinner was alive remain. There's his watch, the first clerk's office, tiny building, and he was the clerk for the county. I've been up to the gravesite at the Masonic Cemetery. History has a way of linking the present with the past, and maybe that's what Ken Darling is looking for, a connection. Uh, to be shown something so touchable as far as uh, a pioneer and what they had to go through, that it will say something to them and their lives. And, you know, well, if Eugene Franklin Skinner can do it, so can I. Uh, my name's Ken Darling, and Eugene Franklin Skinner was my great-great-grandfather. I feel like I'm home. <laughs> <laughs>